for the entrance hymn kindly take hymn number a73 on page 31 hymn number a73 on page 31 Father and our son and the holy spirit amen the grace and peace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit dear brothers and sisters jesus had made a big impact in other towns and villages yet when he came to his native village his own people rejected him why they felt they knew all about him and that there he had nothing to offer him the same jesus comes to visit us during this eucharist we have a chance to listen to him and to receive him into our hearts and into our lives for the times moments and occasions like the people in the gospel who manifest their prejudices biases and misunderstanding we have failed to accept the other as he or she is let us ask pardon and forgiveness i confess yes, to, to almighty god, god and to you my, my brothers and sisters that i have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words in what i have done and what i have failed to do to my faults to my faults to my most grievous faults therefore i ask blessed mary ever virgin all angels and saints and to you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting amen lord have mercy to god in, in the, the highest, highest and, and on earth peace, peace to people of good will we, we praise you we bless you we adore you we glorify you we, we give you thanks for your great glory lord god heavenly king o god almighty father lord jesus christ his only begotten son lord god lamb of god son of the father you take away the sins of the world Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray so that they may return to the right path give all who for the faith they profess are accounted christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of christ and to strive after all that does it honor through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen, amen.
a reading from the prophet Ezekiel. In those days, the Spirit entered into me and set me on my feet. And I heard him speaking to me. And he said to me, Son of man, I send you to the people of Israel, to nations of rebels who have rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me to this very day. The descendants also are impudent and stubborn. I send you to them, and you shall say to them, Thus says the Lord God, and whatever they hear or refuse to hear, they will know that a prophet has been among them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let our response be, our, our eyes are on the Lord our God till he shows us his mercy. Please repeat. Our eyes are on the Lord Lord, our our God God, till till he shows shows us us his his mercy. mercy. To you have I lifted up my eyes, you who dwell in the heavens. Behold like the eyes of slaves on the hand of their lords. Our response, our our eyes eyes are are on the Lord our God till he shows us his mercy. Like the eyes of a servant on the hand of a mistress, so our eyes are on the Lord our God till he show us his mercy. Our response, our, our eyes are, are on the Lord, Lord our, our God, God till, till he shows show us, us his mercy. mercy. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. We are filled with contempt. Indeed, all too, far, all too full is our soul with the scorn of the arrogant, the disdain of the proud. Our response, our our eyes are on the the Lord Lord, our God till till he shows shows us his mercy. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brethren, to keep me from becoming conceited because of the surpassing greatness of the revelations, a thorn was given me in the flesh, a messenger of Satan to harass me, to keep me from becoming conceited. Three times I pleaded with the Lord with this, that it should leave me. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you. For my power is made perfect in weaknesses. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly for my weaknesses so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. For the sake of Christ, then, I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities. For when I am weak, then I am strong. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Kindly rise. is upon me because he was anointed to me to proclaim good news to the poor. The Lord.
Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory, Glory to you, to you o Lord. Lord. At that time, Jesus came to his hometown, and his disciples followed him. On the Sabbath, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were astonished, saying, Where did this man get these things? What is the wisdom given to him? How are such mighty works done by his hands? Is he not the carpenter's son, the son of Mary, and brother of James and Joseph, Judas and Simon? Are not his sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his hometown and among his relatives and in his own household. He could not do no mighty work here, except that he laid his hands on a few sick people and healed them. And he marveled because of their unbelief, and he went about among the villages teaching. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. A person is a subsisting substance, individual, incommunicable, unique, and of rational nature. These words of Boethius, a philosopher, brings to our mind that each of us are blessed with rationality. We can think and reason out, make our choices and decisions for life. Personality is a sum total of all the abilities, talents, skills that a person has. And the personality helps and enables a person to make stride in his life and thereby make a mark in the society. My dear brothers and sisters, today's reading of the day invites each of us to introspect on our lives. Perhaps like the people in the Gospel passage, we are also filled with biases, prejudices, jealousy and misunderstanding. At times, we also look at a particular person coming from a particular village, maybe like Moira, and say, what good can come from Moira? Or maybe from Benauli, what good can come from Benauli? Or maybe a particular person who cannot understand or comprehend things of life, and we make our own biases and prejudices against that particular person. Jesus was astonished by their wavered thinking. And that is why he could not do great things in their midst. In the first reading, we have heard how Ezekiel is given the message to speak to the people of Israel because they were stubborn, hard-hearted, and perhaps rooted in their own prejudices. Yahweh makes it possible that, that there is a prophet among them who will dispel their darkness conscientize them and bring transformation in their life. In the second reading, we have heard how Paul very beautifully feels the message of Christ that grace is sufficient for him. That in his moments of weakness, Christ is glorified or Christ is enhanced. These readings in a way invite us, perhaps in our own context, to see how best we as individual persons rooted and grounded in our own personality traits manifest ourselves to the people. Prejudices, biases, misunderstanding, when they are not focused well, when we are not making concrete, conscious and deliberate efforts to overcome them, they become a downfall in our lives. We tend to make others as inferior in our side. I would like to place before you five perspectives whereby we can reduce or overcome prejudices, biases to a large context. The first, recognize and acknowledge. Looking into our own life and as we introspect on ourselves, we ought to recognize and acknowledge our own weaknesses, especially biases, prejudices, 
misunderstandings and jealousy that is somehow rooted in our life. It is the acceptance of our own weaknesses that, help, that will enable us to accept the other person as he or she is. It is a recognition of what is not good in myself will help me to be able to humble myself and thereby make a difference in the lives of others. What better example can we have than Jesus himself, who saw a lot of hypocrisy in the eyes and the life of the Pharisees, scribes and the Sadducees, and yet he accepted them as they were. And that is why he was able to say on the cross, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Perhaps in our own life, when we recognize and acknowledge our own faults, weaknesses, and mistakes, that will become a step forward to ac accept the other as he or she is. Second, efforts in molding and shaping our behavior and attitudes. Our attitudes, in a way, move towards molding and shaping our behaviors. If we have negative attitudes towards things and persons and situations of life, that will be transferred on others. Others will not make a meaning or a source of strength to us in our life. It is when we make efforts to change our attitudes, our behavioral patterns also will change to a large extent. It is when we try to find those behavioral patterns which are not aligned or fostered in the right direction, and when we make efforts to change them by our small and minor ways of accepting ourselves, we will be able to transform our life, our attitudes towards others. Third, to keep on doing good where good has to be done. Jesus himself is a great example. Though people and the religious groups of his time tried to find faults in his teaching, in his healing and curing, and yet Jesus went on doing good because he was focused on the will and plan of God, namely to bring redemption and salvation to humankind. Each of us play a part in that salvation and redemption of Jesus that he fostered here on earth. And when we keep on doing good, where good has to be done, our energies, which are rooted in seeing goodness in others, will become a pathway to build bridges among persons, situations, and incidents of life. The fourth, to challenge ourselves. Many a times as human persons rooted in our own personality, there are occasions and moments when we in a way slack in making changes, in trying to encourage or motivate ourselves. It is when we challenge our own weaknesses, making ourselves as worthy persons in the eyes of God and of every human person that the good that is within us will come to the fore. The weaknesses, so to say, will subside to a large extent because our energies will be diverted on those areas that needs a change. And that change will take place when we challenge ourselves. Jesus himself challenged his apostles, especially in their desire to focus on giving glory to God by the way by which he was spreading the message of love, compassion, and mercy to others. At times, the apostle failed to understand what Jesus was preaching to them in and through the parables. When Jesus challenged them, they became messengers and peacemakers of Christ. And that is very beautifully exemplified after the ascension of Jesus. And lastly, positive energy. God has blessed each of us with willpower, determination, and goodness. In the book of Genesis, 
chapter 1, verse 27, we read that we are created in the image and likeness of God. The attributes that God has are also in each of us. But many a times, because of our human nature, instead of focusing more and more on our divine nature, we highlight and focus on our humanity. And that is why the uniqueness and the goodness that is there within us also subside to a large extent. When we focus on what is good within us, when we try to focus our energies which are positive in nature, they will become a pathway to reach to God and to one another. My dear brothers and sisters, as we take part in the celebration, we pray for the graces and blessings that we need, that we may truly overcome our prejudices, biases, and at times when we misunderstand people by making efforts which are concrete, deliberate, and conscious in nature. Let us all stand and profess our faith. I believe in God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. My dear sisters and brothers, human persons, we are liable to commit mistakes and fall into sin and that the grace of God can transform our waywardness into moments of joy and happiness. Let us place our prayers and petitions before the Lord, seeking His blessings and graces upon us. Let your response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For Christians, that they may be able to speak Christ's truth to the world with courage and love, even though they too may frequently be rejected as he was. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all temporal leaders, that they may be open to God's guidance, so that they may secure peace and freedom for all those entrusted to them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those who live in the darkness of error or prejudice, that they may receive the truth with humility. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That we may be able to recognize the good in the people with whom we work and live, and be influenced by that rather than by their human weakness and imperfections. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. God, our Heavenly Father, we have placed our prayers and petitions before you prayers that we have uttered, and prayers and petitions that are deep within our hearts and our minds. Listen to them also. We make this prayer through same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. For the off tree, kindly take hymn number B9 on page 69. Hymn number B9 on page 69.
Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our Heavenly Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice, the sacrifice from our hands, your hands for the praise, the praise and glory of His name, name, for our good and, and good of upon His holy, holy church. church. Let us pray. Look upon the offerings of the Church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up, up to the Lord. the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift to us, since our praise is at nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, <coughs> broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by our cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the whole world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Philip Larry, our Bishop, Simao, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy in us all, gathered over here, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co and eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Let us glorify the Trine God together, through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, 
forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to save. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the, kingdom, the power, and the, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a meaningful sign of peace. Lamb of, Lamb of God, God, you take, take away the sins, sins of, of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. On us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, Jesus, who invites each of us today to overcome our prejudices, biases, and thereby deepen our faith in Him alone. Happy are we who are called to this banquet of love. Lord, Lord I am Lord, Lord, worthy, Lord, worthy that you, that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but only, only say the word, and my, and my soul shall, shall be healed. For the communion, kindly take hymn number M40 on page 284. Hymn number M40 on page 284. Oh 
Jesus is so Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effect upon us may grow. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. At 10.30, there will be Mass in Portuguese. This evening at 5.30, Mass in Konkani. On 13th July, that is Saturday, anticipated Sunday Mass will be at 6 p.m. On 14 July, 15 Sunday of ordinary time, Masses will be as follows, 7 o'clock in Konkani, 8.15 in English, 9.30 for the children and parents, 10.30 in Portuguese, and 5.30 in the evening in Konkani. The PPC meeting will be held today at 10.30 a.m. in the basement hall. All the members are requested to attend the same. The PPC is organizing a program for married couples or parents on Sunday the 14th July from 9.30 a.m. till 12.30 p.m. in the basement hall. Names to be given to church office by 10th of July. This program will be conducted by Missionary Families for Christ. Missionary Families of Christ handmaids are conducting a Christian life seminar, Be Filled with His Fullness. Women of 35 years and above are invited. It will be held on second consecutive Sundays, namely 21st, and 28th of July from 9 a.m. till 3 p.m. at the Auxilium High School, Karanzalim. For further details, please check the notice board. Last Sunday's collection was 40,390 rupees. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in His peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. For the recessional hymn, kindly take hymn number X18 on page 358. Hymn number X18 on page 358. diminish and Christ increase we take him with us wherever we go that through our actions his life we show we witness his love to everyone by our 